What is the number one influence on the number one skill in putting? First of all, what's the number one skill in putting? Well, I believe it to be speed control. I don't think many people could argue with that. If you think about other skills, green reading, direction, whilst they are very, very important, you can get away with them easier. Bad speed is bad speed. I see golfers all the time who read greens poorly, push putts or pull putts, aim them poorly, and it can sort of work together to mean, it's why we don't really miss six feet wide, but we do miss six feet short and six feet long a lot easier. So I would definitely be on the side of speed being the number one skill. So what's the number one influence on speed? The speed that your putter head is traveling at the point that hits the ball. This video is gonna look at what are the most common faults with that how to practice, how to find your your ideal way of controlling that better to improve your speed control. So the, ma the main problems around controlling the putter head speed would be that, first of all, I don't think even a lot of golfers are really in tune with that. Like, do you actually, are you aware of it? And by the way, if you control speed really well without being in tune with it, don't worry about this, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. This is for people who want to improve their speed control, which is probably most people. Are you are you even aware of a feel? We don't need to we don't need to look at a putt and say, right, I need I need four miles an hour on the putter head at the point of impact to, to execute this putt well. We don't think in those terms, we don't need to think in those terms. But you do need to have a good feel for looking at a putt and knowing how to generate the appropriate speed for the putt. There's other factors like the quality of your strike, launch, even face angles, all these things that will play a part, but they all play a small role compared to the speed of the putter head. So let's talk about speed of the putter head and how we can improve that and our feel of that. In an ideal world, we would be able to control the speed of the putter head well with our feel. You know, we could we could get on the green and we've got a great feel. The problem is a lot of people's feel hasn't been trained appropriately and very, very common is they're using techniques that make it harder to obtain this good feel that we all want. And the number one issue around that would be acceleration. So many golfers, I've seen this for years and years of lessons, so many golfers have rapid acceleration through the ball. They do that because their backswing is so slow. That would be the number one cause. Slow backswing means you've got to then change the pace and have a really long accelerating follow through in most cases. So how can we avoid that acceleration? And the, like, if I could say one sentence that could help the most golfers in the world with one sentence based on all the lessons I've ever done, it would be this, speed up your backswing. That is for me the number one cause of difficulty in controlling the speed of the part head. So why is acceleration bad in putting? We probably want all our other golf clubs accelerating through the ball, but why not in putting? Putting's a bit more precise. We're dealing with more specific distances. And if you accelerate a putter, we pretty much know it makes it harder to control. So if something's rapidly speeding up and we need to have a good feel for the speed of the putter head, at impact, if it's rapidly speeding up, it kind of makes sense that it's going to be harder to control. The best analogy I can give you is, is with driving a car. If this is point B and you start at point A in a car, and I said drive past point B, and at the point you pass point B, I want the speedometer on your car saying that you're going 30 miles per hour. The way anyone would do that is they would make sure they had 30, on the speedometer before they reach point B and they would coast through, they would glide through. So go back, going back to putting, it's kind of what we want our putter heads to do. Get your speed early, i.e. get it in the backswing in the transition and then we can just coast through. If you're accelerating a putter head through impact, it's a bit like being in the car and trying to be 28 mile an hour, 29, 30 mile an hour. Then you're going to be 31, 32, because remember, you're speeding up through the ball. And I see putters' heads doing that all the time when we measure it in technology, that they, they reach their peak speed 
well after they hit the ball. You know, the collision of impact will slow it down a little bit and then it picks up speed again because it's accelerating. So it's kind of inefficient in that way as well as being harder to control. So I would say let's try and lose the acceleration. What's the best way for you to work on this to find a style that's going to suit you the most? And by style, I mean some golfers are just better suited to really fast tempos, some would be more slow, and some would be obviously in the middle. There's no right or wrong. I'm biased towards on the quicker side of things. I see more problems with people that are a bit slow, because usually they're slow because the backswing's slow. So to find out what's going to suit you best, I want you to get a tape measure, three tees, and a golf ball. If you're practicing indoors with limited space, just put a towel down like I've done. It's a great little tip for practicing. We're not too worried about where the ball's going at this point. We're just wanting to practice the stroke. I've got a 20 inch backstroke marked out with tees and I've got a 15 inch follow through. That's just a preference of mine. You don't have to follow that exactly. You might like a 20 inch backstroke with a 20 inch follow through. So work out what, what suits you best or, or try one or the other. Now that's, that's what I like. I like a follow through, it's a little bit shorter, it's about 75%. But there's great parts that do different to that. You might, you might even want to just try and find out where you are on that spectrum, but it's a pretty good benchmark, about 70, somewhere 70, 80% is the follow through. So I've got it all set up here. Now I want you to practice three different speeds, okay? So, start off with practice strokes. And I would, I would, Start with maybe a slow one, so it's very slow, then very quick, and then try and find something in the middle. And over time, what you want to do is just see what what feels best. Where do you where do you feel like you're the best? And then I would just start introducing golf balls in, hit a putt. And I would do, and I would even hit putts with slow, medium, and fast, and just and just try and feel like what feels better. Okay, my advice probably don't go too slow. I prefer quick or something in the middle. All right, see how you get on with that. In summary, we want to improve our speed control through improving our feel for controlling the speed of the putter head. That's the number one influence on the number one skill in putting, in my opinion. How do we do that? Start off by what is what is your ideal kind of rhythm, your tempo? Main thing we want to avoid is, is rapid acceleration. And then find, find your ideal tempo. Practice that 20 inch backstroke which is about 51 centimeters, and then practice it with a follow through, using a tape measure, put some tees down. I like the follow through a bit shorter than the backswing, but it doesn't have to be. Either go quite even or a little bit shorter, like I said. Find your rhythm if you like. Are you better suited to being slower, quicker, or something in between? Then take it to the practice screen, practice it again. You could even go down the, the route of pacing out how far that goes. It gives you a, a nice benchmark. The reason I'm doing quite a, a reasonably long backstroke is because that's for a reasonably long putt. You know, it doesn't, you can't say it's for a 30 foot putt, but for a lot of people it might be a 30 foot putt. Depends on that, that, that speed you settle onto. But it's for a, a sizable putt that you'll get a lot of on the course. And if you can get a really good feel for this putt and the ideal rhythm, you can then calibrate other putts from that if you like. But the main goal is over time increasing your feel for good awareness of the speed of the part head and avoiding that dreaded acceleration. All right, thanks very much for watching.